Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi. I am a licensed therapist and on this channel, I do my best to help you laugh through the crap that's holding you back, all right? <laughs> so here's the place you wanna be if you're wanting some free insight from a licensed professional. And today I'm gonna be talking about reasons that therapy can be awkward. <coughs> in hopes that I might be able to encourage you to stick with it if you're already in therapy or to alleviate some of your nervousness about going to therapy if you're considering it, all right? All while we take a trip to funky town. That's right, 1980s. If you're new, please don't judge too much. Not a makeup artist. Right then, moving on. So, let's make some magic happen, shall we? Okay, side note, I am practically blind without my glasses. It's really difficult for me to see far away, which is why sometimes I use my hand mirror. And I've gotta do that because I don't wanna show you guys my nostrils because they're really fleshy. Yeah, I noticed that when I was editing, I thought I had bats in the cave and I got closer. I was like, oh no, my nostrils are just fleshy. Mm. Talk about awkward, right then. Anyway, let's get to it. So, reasons therapy can be awkward. Well, first reason being you are not used to being vulnerable. Difficulty expressing your emotions, knowing how to talk about them, uncertain what you're feeling and what you're going through. So that's number one. Another common reason is the fear of judgment, fear of the shame you might feel discussing all things, all right? Which is completely normal if you've never shared how you felt before. And also, it is normal for those of you who have experienced judgment and shame when you've discussed your feelings or your issues or what you were going through. Another common reason, especially for caretakers, women, women of color, people that are used to taking care of other people's problems, dealing with their nonsense, may not feel comfortable sharing the load of what they're going through and not wanting to burden other people. Even a therapist, even though they're paying to go see somebody, they still might feel uncomfortable because they're just not used to it. Not to get off track or anything, but for those of you who watched my last video, you know I got some new eyeshadow and I really like the colors and I'm not sure if it's the eyeshadow, the brushes or my technique or all of the above, but it's just a hot mess. But I'm doing my best, all right? Not a makeup artist. Another common reason that one might feel uncomfortable or awkward in therapy is because they're not really sure what to expect if they haven't gone. This is why it's important that you consult with a therapist before you start. Ask questions, get an idea of what to expect. I did a couple videos on that, so go check those out, all right? I can also clarify a bit more in another video if you'd like to hear more about that. Oh, hello, 1980s. Mm-hmm, Funky Town. Won't you take me to Funky Town? Funky Town. I think I got this, what do you think? kind of easy to do 80s because it was just, you know, nobody knew what they were doing anyway. At least, that's my opinion. How many of you out there are 80s babies? Like myself? Grew up in the 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. I was born in 79. So another reason that it could be awkward for you in therapy is going back to what I was saying earlier about not knowing how to be vulnerable or never having shared your feelings. It's just a general resistance to emotional pain, all right? Not wanting to face things that have caused us some trauma or have hurt us in some way. So that could be another reason. And another reason could be the belief that you have to act a certain way in therapy or feeling like your problems aren't that bad, all right? Or comparing yourself to other people's pain. So this is something to think about. Now, if you're already in therapy, I would certainly encourage you to discuss things with your therapist about how you're feeling. A good clinician will be able to sit with you and hold space for you to help you process those feelings, which will hopefully help you reach your goals quicker and facilitate emotional healing, all right? So keep that in mind. I know it can be awkward to talk about how awkward you are, but you know, sometimes it alleviates the awkwardness of it all. I mean, I think so. Moving on. So yes, talk to your therapist about it or when you decide to go to therapy or you're considering it, talk to the therapist that you're considering working with. All right? You gotta talk about it, 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 talk about, talk about, talk about. Now, before I move on, I've got a few more things for you. So stay put. But before I do, have you been in therapy and you know what it's like and you know what I'm talking about in terms of awkwardness? If so, let me know. And if you haven't gone to therapy and you're considering it, tell me a little bit about what your concerns are with regard to starting. All right, I wanna hear from you. It's important. Right then, moving on. So 
Another reason that it could be difficult or awkward for you in therapy is not wanting to admit that you're struggling, which kind of goes back to what I was saying about being vulnerable, but you know what I mean. Additionally, it could be that you are uncertain about what you need to talk about. Like, you know you need to go, but you're just not really sure where to start. So that could also be a thing. And if that's the case, then you know what I'm gonna say. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Mm -hmm. Now, another reason that it could be awkward for you is those silences, not being comfortable with silence. And why might this be? Well, it could be because things come up when you're quiet, all right? You have to sit with those uncomfortable feelings when things are quiet. And when we're yapping away, we're not having to really, you know, sit with that too much. I mean, we obviously will still feel what we're feeling, but it's less intense when we're talking. And so when things get quiet, Okay, so keep that in mind. I think it's important to clarify how come the therapist may not talk and allow silence to be present? Well, it's likely because the counselor is trying to allow you to process what you're feeling and interrupting you and talking could prevent you from discovering some things. Now, another reason it could be awkward for you is that maybe you just don't fit well with your therapist and sometimes that happens, which is why it's important to shop around. All right, so if you started therapy and you're just like, oh, I mean, I don't know if I can continue. Consider these things that I'm sharing with you. Don't let this interfere with addressing the things that you might need to address for your emotional and mental well-being. All right, so challenge that basically. All right, if you're noticing resistance because you're feeling awkward, you know what I'm gonna say. Talk to a therapist about those concerns. Also, if you're worried about offending your clinician, try not to. If it's a good clinician, they're gonna be able to differentiate between your feelings of awkwardness about therapy and concerns about therapy from how you feel about them, all right? And if they can't, then that could be a clue that you might need to talk to somebody else. So shop around. How am I doing? I think I'm looking pretty 80s. Mm-hmm, pretty funky. Gotta move on. Do, 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 do. Also, I think, it's really important to understand that the healing process can be scary. And when we're scared or we're feeling exposed, sometimes that's where that awkwardness comes from. Just remember, your counselor is there to help you, all right? And if you feel uncomfortable, it's important you talk about it, all right? And if you don't feel comfortable sharing with your counselor for any reason at all, give it some thought, challenge that resistance, give it a try, talk to them, and you might be able to sort through it with them. And if not, then you can move on. All right, almost there guys, thanks for sticking with me. If you're liking this content so far and you're finding it helpful and somewhat entertaining, then let me know. Mm -hmm. Like it, maybe subscribe to the channel so I don't miss anything else. All right. Oh man, I always get a hair in my eye. Oh. <clears throat> Frick. Right then, I'm gonna finish this up. Don't go anywhere. I'm stay put. See the final look? I'll be right back. Here we are, final look. What do you guys think? Like it, love it, hate it, let me know. And until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved. Gotta move on. I look ridiculous.